In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to use the complex conjugate pairs theorem. The idea behind this theorem is that if you have a complex root, where it's a plus bi, for a polynomial function with real coefficients, then the complex conjugate a minus bi is also zero. So let's say you have a polynomial of degree two or more. If you happen to find that one of its roots is a complex number with an imaginary term associated with it, then it must have a conjugate as well. So imaginary roots come in pairs, essentially. That means a polynomial of degree two, like a quadratic, can't have one imaginary root. It has to have two. So the question we're answering is, find the equation of a polynomial function f with real coefficients that satisfies the given condition. It's a fourth degree polynomial function such that one is a zero of multiplicity two. So we have a zero that's x is equal to one, and that can be written as x minus one raised to the power of two. The reason why I'm raising it to the power of two is because it has a multiplicity of two, meaning that it repeats itself. And two minus i is also a zero. So that's a complex number with that imaginary term. And as mentioned in the complex conjugate pairs theorem, we have to have the conjugate of this, which is two plus i. So we would write down in factored form, x minus bracket two plus i, that represents this one, and another factor being x minus bracket two minus i. Now we haven't been told any information about the leading coefficient a, so I'll set a equal to one. And what I'll do is I'll expand this expression, this polynomial, where a is equal to one. If you expand this correctly, you should end up with a function that looks like this. f of x is equal to x to the power of four minus six x to the power of three plus 14 x to the power of two minus 14 x, and that constant at the very end is five. You can try this yourself. All you have to do is expand this expression as much as possible until you get it into this standard form. And so there you have it. That's the idea behind the complex conjugate pairs theorem.